<laughs> if you're able to use the last take from that run-up, that would be great. Yeah. Rather than have all my mistakes. Um, I played on Mr. Wilson's album here, and um, we did a we did a little swap. We said um, Steve will come and play on my record, and I'll come and play at his show. Mm. Actually, no, that was part of the deal. The other part of the deal was you'd play Shadow of the Hierophant if I came and played in London with you. And I'm very glad you talked me into that because I'm I thought I here, into that. here's a piece of music that is is uh, you know it's got all the pejoratives you know ponderous, slow, uh, pompous. Well, they're the like, negative ways of looking. At I know, it, I know, I know, and I, I, know, epic, I loved it at the time. Grandiose. But funny enough, we do it, and, and of course. Um, uh, Amanda sings it and sings it really well, and, yeah. and she's singing it better all the time, and it goes down so well. And and um, still doing that one. We're still doing it, oh, yeah, right. yeah. And now she does the power chords at the end as well oh, as right. singing it, and um, audiences go absolutely mental for it. So, um, well, it's got so much drama, hasn't it? That well, I wrote it with with Mike Rutherford. I mean, it's yeah. not quite fair, really. I mean, my part was the song, and then the slow. Thing at the end was was really his, which we rehearsed with Genesis, and it was a Genesis reject, and I absolutely loved that. And I thought, mm. you know, let's let's do. It. I said, Mike, do you mind if I use that? You know, as we were working on Voyage of the Acolyte together, he said, Yeah, fine. You know, it's not going to get used by the band. Um, and, and of course, we did that. And then afterwards, Tony said, Oh, we could have used that for the band, but hang on, we rehearsed that for Foxtrot, and then it was, right. you know, a a reject. So beware what you reject. You Absolutely. Know.